Hi hey guys, uh, today we're making a little video about speed control from my UberScoot 800 CT. It's actually a speed control made by EVA. A lot of scooters using electronics made by EVA. Actually, I really like scooter. Speed control was pretty durable. And this year I decided to put much thicker heavy duty wire instead of original one. Actually, I was gonna hold it side by side. That's the 12 gauges. I installed it eight, uh, 10 gauges. And I'm glad I did actually. When I open it, first thing I recognize it. Well, over right here I pull it out a couple capacitors. This capacitor was sit vertically. You see, it's bulging and it's about to blow it. Same thing on a little guy. Well, they both 36 volts, but it's bulging pretty bad. And actually on this one, when you look it closer with magnifier, you can see some liquid. It, it may start leaking already. I didn't see actually an actual crack yet, but maybe it's under that plastic uh, uh, shrink wrap. Anyway, and like I said, I replaced it both this capacitor and this capacitor. I replaced it with new. Also, I uh, put a new wire, much, uh, much thicker. And then those traces. The original one, well, it's actually this is still same width, but that actually was was pretty thin. I added more solder material. I make them like twice or three times more durable. In that case, I hope it will provide more amperage. And I don't think so. It will increase any top speed, but kind of hoping it will be more torquey because it will provide uh, more uh, more power. But the, another thing. Yeah, I did put it much heavy duty cable for battery, you see right there, but I didn't change it uh, wire for, for motor, and that's still, uh, I believe, 12 gauge, maybe even 14, it looks kind of 12 or so, but I didn't replace it because it has that fancy connector, and that's uh, um, 3 wire for motor, and there five 5 wire for sensor, because it's a uh, a hub, it has a sensor, uh, sensor at hub. Anyway, I thought I'm gonna give you a little review. Pretty much, if you guys do have a scooter running for already for two, three years or so, uh, I kind of recommend it to open it and in, in, inspect capacitors because the capacitors do tend to go bad when they blow it. I'm not sure if it's gonna fry your speed control, maybe it's just it's gonna stop, uh, quit uh, working. And then you put new capacitors and you're good to go for another couple years or so. When I opened, I see the capacitors about to blow, blow up. I didn't want to take chance to wait until blow it and then replace it. Uh, it's kind of wasting time. Plus, like I said, maybe when it's going to blow it, it, it will fry it something else. And like I said, I mean, in that case, you can ex ex inspect your speed control. If you want to do more heavy-duty traces uh, for, for power you go for that will inc increase probably life of your uh, speed control or decrease I, I mean i hope it's not gonna blow its speed control after when i put heavy duty wire and increase uh, and make those uh, traces heavy duty now transistors is gonna wo work probably harder and there's a uh, nine mosfets some speed control uh, more powerful has like 15 16 of them my speed control but i thought it's gonna try it See if it's gonna blow speed control, eh? It's time for, for, uh, for a new one. Well, I hope you guys like my video. If you do, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe and we will really appreciate it. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.